Hey guys, it's Chase and today I was out going for a nice uh, bike ride this evening and decided to wreck about 10 minutes in and so now I'm back at the car uh, pouting a little bit and uh, decided instead I'll just make a video tell you guys about one of my favorite tools that I've been using this year, my portable battery. So as I've mentioned before, I spend a lot of time in the outdoors on my days off. I work as a freelance photographer and videographer and so I find myself traveling all around and you know setting up for shoots as well as just doing personal trips climbing or skiing and and so one of the challenges i've run into is battery management for my laptop phone cameras um, things like that and so up until this year i kind of struggled through by just bumming off of coffee shop outlets or using my car 12 volt and uh, hoping i don't drain my battery but um, now i have a better solution so i'll show that to you guys today all right, so the battery that I have is the Jackery 240, which I'll go into more details about that in a bit. But the way I have it set up is I store it right here in my little cabinet and uh, got it charging. You see the charging port coming in there and it's lined back behind. The Subarus have a 12 volt outlet in the back and so it's just plugged in there. Charged while I drive and uh, yeah, so I'll pull it out and show you some of the features. All right, so here it is, my portable battery. It is a Jackery 240. I think it's a second size up from the bottom. They offer a few different options uh, just to better understand the size. Per the website, they have it listed as being able to charge your phone battery up to 30 times or um, a laptop or a drone four times. Or if you run like a mini cooler that's under 200 watts, you can you can run that for multiple hours or if it's a small one, multiple days. So um, it's fairly capable and I'll show you how I set it up to uh, charge my stuff. But it has three different outlets. So it has a 12 volt DC outlet right here and then a 110 volt AC outlet and then two USBs. And then right over here is the input for charging it. And they give you a, a charger that you can either use from your 12 volt car outlet or a 110 outlet at home and then up here this is one of my favorite parts and kind of the reason I got this one is they have a display screen that when you turn it on it tells you the battery percentage and then the input and the output so you can kind of monitor it and you know where you're at and you don't have to guess or just use like a couple blinking lights to try to figure out where you're at one other good thing about this battery it has a pure sine wave inverter which basically means it's safe to charge things um, that might be sensitive to any sort of power um, fluctuation or um, surges and so that's good to have and, and good to know that I'm not going to ruin my laptop or my phone or whatever expensive item I'm plugging into it and it's also pretty small compact has a nice handle on top and only weighs just under seven pounds and it's it's nine inches wide and eight inches tall so for me it fits really well into my little car cabinet setup and uh, just hangs out there when I drive and the retail price is about 250 bucks so it's not cheap but it's pretty on par with the uh, the rest of the market and um, in my mind the features are way better and if you look at Amazon it has like 3,000 reviews that put it out like almost a perfect five star which is pretty unheard of and at this point I think I agree with them all right so just to show you um, how much it can run at one time I've got my MacBook um, plugged in over here once I plugged it in, just push the little button next to the outlet and it fires it up. And then I'm charging a headlamp, which I think might actually already be full, and a couple of camera batteries. And it still shows that it's 99% uh, and it has an output of about 70 watts. Um, and from what I understand, it can go up to about 200. So it's still significantly below um, its capabilities. and. And that's about the most I, I use. Um, the only other thing that I use commonly is a fan in the summer. If I'm sleeping in my car and it's really hot, I'll uh, plug my little um, 12 volt fan into it and, and it works great for that. So if you're looking for something that you can use to help prevent killing your bar car battery while you're, you're stopped at your campsite, um, or you just need a little bit more power to run your uh, laptop camera, this is a great option. And they even sell a, a solar panel that you can plug right into this. I don't have it, but uh, I, I've read some good reviews on it. So I'll throw a link to uh, all these things in the description below and if you check it out and you get one there, it'll send a little kickback to me so it can help support uh, this channel. Thanks for watching.